Hey guys, this is Ryan, and today is August 28th, 2011, and it is the day that Hurricane Irene has struck. I live in Massachusetts, so we weren't hit terribly, but here are the effects of my house. As you can see, everywhere there's debris in the yard, the driveway, on the sidewalk here. There was much heavy rain and also, as you can see, many of the trees were damaged, bent, buckled, tossed, and as you can see, I'm stepping on every time something new not just leaves but puddles and sticks and everything else now I live on a cul-de-sac which means this road just goes up it does a loop and comes back down it's not a main road but um just the street As you can see here, trees are damaged, bent, broken, twigs and leaves only scattered in the street. More debris, debris it lies everywhere, all over. Dumps lay everywhere. Growth all over the street. Our house actually lost power along with billions of others that were affected by Irene. That was the front yard here, and now we're heading off to the back. Here we are, as you can see here. More leaves and branches. Twigs scattered on the ground. That's my cat, who is luckily not out for the storm. Milo. And now, moving on to the backyard. Now these are some major trees that could have been easily toppled over by the winds that were here, but luckily they held up to the entire storm. I have several trees next to my room that didn't fall onto me, which is great news, obviously. Okay, now we're in the backyard, and as you can see, worse than the front. It's going to take a heck of a job to clean all of this up. Big branch there. Puddles lie everywhere. Look at this, right here. This stick was not here before. The storm took it like a javelin and launched it right into the ground. That was not there before. It must have been right here on the other side. The one picked it up and dumped it on its other end. That was not there before.
at least our swing set held up. Alright, now I'm going to show you the pool that didn't over flood, which surprises me. That pool was just cleaned and is now filled with leaves and branches. I know that crap. Well, it's lucky I live in Massachusetts because New York really got a hit of all of this. It was at least 10 times worse than this or more. I mean, the winds were supreme and I live in Drake, Massachusetts, so, which is about maybe 50 miles off of New York. It's not too far away, but we didn't get the storm as bad as we thought we did. Well, I guess that concludes my tour of the yard after Hurricane Irene, so. Keep watching my videos, Ranskater2000, and I'll be sure to post many more soon.